Welcome to Inside Real Estate here on Fuse Logic TV. I'm your host, Michael Crichton, and ever present with me, the real estate expert, Mr. Terry Peranich. And uh, this is a really interesting show because I grew up in a, in a city where it got older and older, and there's a lot of homes that get older and older, but there are opportunities therein. Today, we're going to look at residential infill housing, the revitalization of older neighborhoods. And you know a little bit about that because sometimes you have this tiny little company called Plex Developments. What is Plex Development? Well, Mike, I, uh, it's, it's an interesting story. I was in uh, vacationing in uh, Hawaii uh, about four years ago, almost five years ago, actually, and uh, met a guy in the gym, and, you know, we uh, exchanged what we do for a living, and uh, he indicated that he built residential infill homes in Calgary. Mm -hmm. And I had been fascinated by the redevelopment of areas of downtown Vancouver where, you know, several old houses went down and, and uh, you know, all these big monsters went up. And that wasn't really that impressive. But I started talking to a guy in Calgary and uh, having uh, spent a lot of time in Calgary with my seminar business, um, you know, in and around downtown, you started to see these quiet tree-lined streets evolving into these beautiful Victorian and craftsman style and innovative architectural style homes revitalizing these old, old neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. we got to talking and... Uh, I, uh, you know, four and a half years ago built uh, or bought a, a 50 by 150 lot and hence put up a duplex in a, uh, uh, the neighborhood of Bonnie Dune and sold it immediately. And it was kind of a Victorian style duplex fit into the neighborhood nicely. And hence uh, Plex Developments was born. So we're a residential infill specialist where uh, our true goal is to uh, help revitalize older neighborhoods by bringing in new housing that basically fits into that particular neighborhood. And the word infill means you're infilling. So you get a house, you take it down, and then you infill it with a new house. Well, we'll take a look at the process because that to me would be quite yeah. substantial. And, and uh, I mean, ultimately, that explains revitalization of, of, a, of an older or established neighborhood. What are the benefits to the community of that kind of uh, Well, you know, what's happening, Michael, you know, in, in cities, you know, specifically like here in Edmonton or Calgary, uh, Vancouver, you have neighborhoods that are coming up 80, 90, 100 years old in some oh, cases. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, offer incredible amenities like, you know, such as our beautiful River Valley here in Edmonton, uh, you know, the big trees, established schooling. And some of these houses are at the point where you really can't repair them anymore. Uh, they may be only seven or 800 square feet, but yet they're situated on a 33 or a 40, and in some cases a 50-foot lot, where you know uh, it's time to basically revitalize that. And ultimately what happens is you, know, you, you build a brand new house in an older neighborhood. Uh, a new family often comes in because sometimes it may have been a family that's gone through three generations you right, know, right. Uh, of, a, of a particular home. And, uh, you know, it brings, uh, 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 you know, new tax dollars, especially for the city, higher tax dollars, often three times. Sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, a new family into the community, uh, kids going to the schools. And that's where the revitalization starts. You know, uh, newer, younger people joining the community leagues and, and really becoming part of that community. So uh, infill housing uh, is really starting to take off here in the Edmonton area. Okay, you've mentioned uh, young family uh who buys infill housing? Who else buys infill housing? Well, I mean, you know, infill housing, uh, you know, we've now at Plux, we've done uh, about, uh, you know, just over 30 properties in the last four years. And, uh, uh, you know, we've had from young professionals, uh, young couples that work downtown. And a lot of these areas um, are often, we haven't spoken about it yet, but are 10 to 15 minutes from downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so, you know, young urban professionals, we've had, uh, you know, lawyers, we've had doctors, we've had uh, uh, all kinds of different people, people that even just love to live ne close to the River Valley where they can, you know, walk out, out their front door, step off their veranda, and within minutes... Uh, they're running or cycling in the River Valley. Um, we've had people that are school teachers that, uh, you know, teach in the area. Uh, people that also, uh, families that experienced moving into the suburbs where they've gone, uh, you know, where you're a half an hour, 45 minute drive from everywhere. Yeah, right. And there's no amenities such as schooling or, mm -hmm. you know, you have to drive to, to a, a, a store to buy your food that's, that's a 10 minute drive. And they get tired of that, and they don't want to have to touch their neighbor, you know, because these houses in these new subdivisions are so close. So, so we even have families that are moving back to the established neighborhoods. You're watching Inside Real Estate with real estate expert Mr. Terry Peranich, a show that is designed 
to help you as someone who buys or sells homes uh, as you evolve in your life and, and hopefully what you learn on this program will help you make be better decisions as you go along. In fact, if you ever do want to talk to the team, you can call Terry and the team at 780-457-4777. You can also go to the Facebook fan page at Terry Peranich team and you can also go to the website www.plexdevelopments.ca. Now, just to go back in terms of who buys infill housing. So what do they do? They come into the door of Plex Developments and go, hi, I'm an infill housing uh, No, customer. no, Mike. How do you find yeah. that? Where, well, where we have, we've, we're, we're starting to get people, uh, we've developed a great reputation um, because we've built great houses. Mm -hmm. um, and people are starting to see our, our Plex Development signs in the neighborhoods and people are curious and saying, you know, we our parents own an old home that we're gonna be taking over or we own an old house on a lot and we had aspirations of building, but the Plex business model, Mike, has been, all of our houses have primarily, 90% of them have been built on spec. Right. So uh, we have a, a great uh, uh, a team of draftspeople that uh, uh, will create homes specific to neighborhoods. Again, Victorian, Craftsman, uh, Federalist style houses that fit into these old neighborhoods. And usually about Three to four weeks before the house is finished, we get people that they watch the development of the house. And then all of a sudden, as it becomes closer to fin uh, being finished, uh, we put the home in the market. And uh, usually somebody walks in two, three weeks, even some cases a month before mm -hmm. it's actually finished, and they will buy it. Uh, we've had some that have actually bought them uh, uh, you know, two or three months ahead. So they're, they're able to pick their colors and choices of cabinets and things like that. Right. Uh, but uh, our team of designers uh, and decorators, we do such a great job um, that usually, you know, the, the minute somebody walks in, they're already sold in the neighborhood. And right. they may have grown up in the neighborhood or, or had aspirations of living there. They'll walk in and they, they go, oh, my God, um, this is too good to be true. Uh, you mean we can actually move into this in, in three weeks or a month? They'll buy that house. So I imagine that there must be influence because I can just see, you know, 63-year-old or 65-year-old Chuck living in the house next to the one that's yeah. getting revitalized going, Hey, look, Mary, the Jones house yeah. has completely changed. And I imagine they, um, they must look at their own home and go, what, is that, what impact well, might that Mike, have on we, my home? We, um, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but, but it's just it, it, uh, a story that is taking place as we speak. Uh, we bought a, uh, a lot, and it was a 94-year-old uh, lady that uh, uh, you know, sold us this house. And it was right. a, double, uh, a lot and a half. And uh, it was about 62 feet wide by about 140, so it was a nice lot. But older houses on both sides and an established neighborhood called Highlands here in Edmonton, yeah. which is a beautiful neighborhood, as we all yeah. know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, both owners are original owners. One lady's in her 90s and the other couple on the other side are in, in their late 80s. And a lot of resistance where both uh, family members on both sides were calling and speaking to my construction superintendent and then, and then speaking with me. And I told them, you know, we're going to, to build a house that's going to fit in. So what we often do is we will go see the neighbors. We'll show them the plans. And at that point, it calmed them down down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's still, you know, uh, you know, people that have think about it, been in a home for 40 or 50 years, they resist change. And uh, do, yeah. But this happens every single time when the home is finished. And both parties on both sides in this case have now contacted me and said, right. Terry, the house is beautiful. We've had no problems with the trades. Everybody's been kind and respectful. And uh, they're very happy because now, you know, it brings a little life also into the neighborhood. So, uh, Absolutely. So, re in a sense, revitalization sort of, you know, spawns more growth just by implication. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, we are residential infill specialists at Plex Developments. And I encourage people to check out plexdevelopments.ca. You can see what we've built. Uh, you can learn a little bit more about our company. And um, what I'm most proud of is that we're only building residential infill. We're not out in subdivision A and B and C and D and all over the place. Uh, we have a small, specific team, and that's all we do is residential infill. And, and the building process, Mike, think about it. You're not in a newly developed piece of land, a newly, newly uh, 
uh, developed subdivision. So there are, uh, you know, there are some some things that you steps that you have to go through with the city, such as servicing the new lot, uh, you know, with sewers and things like that. So that's why we're a special at the, uh, specialist at this, and we do a very very good job. Well, Joe, we'll take a look at a few photos, and, and these photos are kind of a series. They're they're similar, but uh, show you one aspect. Of course, you do many different types, and and of course we'll revisit this down sure. the road and, and look at a few more. So while we're doing this. I'd like you to, to walk us through the process because, I mean, that's a lot of work. I mean, you're not just, you know, you're not just, you know, opening up a hole in the ground, pouring and building. So how do we find, yeah, how do, how do we this? find a location? How do you find a location? Okay. Tell well, in, in Edmonton, process. as an example, where this particular home is, and, you know, just a, a quick example, this was a, a corner lot and uh, there was about a 750 square foot old home on this huge lot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we found it for sale and we, we purchased it. And then, of course... We, you know, take the home down and uh, we develop a plan specific to the neighborhood, even from like the design, the elevation, the colors that we choose, right. we tie it all in. So, you know, next door, there happened to be a newer house as well, which we ended up building also. <laughs> but, you know, it had it had more of a, a darker type of a, a, a brown siding. So this one, we went with a, a lighter linen. So we tie it in nicely. So we were very respectful to the older houses or some of the newer ones. But the process starts with, we have about 11 neighborhoods here in Edmonton that we've targeted mm -hmm. that are all, you know, quiet, uh, tree-lined streets that, uh, you know, match our criteria. And uh, we we look at these neighborhoods every single day. And as a matter of fact, this afternoon, I'm going to make an offer on two side-by-side uh, -side old houses, um, and we would be building two infills. So that's the first process. And then, of course, we develop a plan, and we do have a database of plans where we'll often custom develop a plan for that particular location. And we go to the city uh, with all of the permit process and get our necessary demolition and building permits, and we right. build the house. And from start to finish, uh, it's usually anywhere from six to seven months, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from the time we acquire it to the time the home is ready for possession. And we're very proud of that timeline. But again, we have our trades lined up, and we're infill specialists. So we know exactly how to do this, how not to disrupt the neighborhood, right. and uh, keep life happy there for everybody. Well, I like I like this one here, I, and what I see is how it's one of our first to the yeah. neighborhood. I, I like yeah. that the style still fits into the the the, the uh, sort of the, the feel of the neighborhood that you have. Yes, and yes. That, now, just out of curiosity, let's talk about do you, do you recycle any of the materials? I remember my dad, who was a, a, a actually an architect, used to go into some of the oldest homes in Montreal. And he would pull stuff out and use some of the most amazing wood that he would find, banisters, rails, beams. He, he loved doing yes. that kind of thing. It's amazing how he repurposed. We've started some of to, stuff. to look at that process of using some recycled products. I know some of the timbers that we've used uh, you know, for some of our latest houses um, uh, and homes that we've built, uh, we've used some recycled timbers and whatnot. Um, but because it's brand new, sometimes that can be a little bit tricky. These houses have, you know, verandas and porches, and there's certain aspects of the building code. Uh, sometimes recycled material doesn't necessarily, you know, match that criteria for that. Right. But we we have used used uh, some recycled material, and uh, we're also, uh, you know, I, I guess we we try to do things uh, as favorable and respectful to the environment uh, as we can, and uh, we call that Enviroplex. And uh, so we have a program where uh, we try to, to really, uh, you know, be sensitive to the environment and all of our construction purposes and, and, uh, and you know, with some of the waste. that is great. I mean, you're prepared yeah. 60% of, of the material that you actually uh, yeah. take out, you, you recycle. It's been great, and we've won, we've won uh, several awards now for that. And uh, But what, what I'm most proud of is our customers are so happy with the end product. My, uh, yeah. my, con my uh, uh, vice president of construction has... Uh, 15 years of experience. He's a master carpenter, and uh, he's a wonderful guy. And then we have a 62-year-old site supervisor who's been in the business 35 years. So uh, they probably love you know, what they're doing too, I would imagine. And our trades have been uh, 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 with my uh, VP of construction. They've been with him for nearly 15 years. So uh, you know, repetition is the mother of skill. We're very consistent, and uh, you know, we focus on doing a great job. You're watching Inside Real Estate with uh, real estate expert Terry Peranich, and I do encourage you to check out. Uh, plexdevelopments.ca that's www.plexdevelopments.ca we have time for one more question of course the obvious one you must have some charming deals in Edmonton what do you, what is Plex Developments got right now that's available well right region? now Mike uh, prior to this weekend uh, well prior to, to the long weekend um, uh, we had two, two houses available for sale and they're now both sold and again 
One was just completely finished, and we had actually had a young lawyer here in Edmonton, a single gal. She bought it and uh, uh, about a month ago, so we finished it off, and she took possession Friday. And we had another one here in Highlands that I was telling you about. Uh, we received an offer on that one on Sunday. And we have another one right now uh, in an area just east of Crestwood, which is a beautiful area, right. uh, 9111 152 Street, which is... Uh, uh, under construction, it's now framed. The windows are in. The roof is going on, and that one will be finished by the end of the year. And then we have two more that we're going to be starting here very soon. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm looking at uh, purchasing a couple more today. Uh, we try to keep uh, uh, our construction and limit it to about 10 to 12 houses a year. Mm -hmm. um, that's busy enough where we can do a great job on each house. And each house is a little bit different, but uh, right. revitalizing new neighborhoods is a real passion of mine. Um, uh, the involvement of Plex Developments is exciting, and we look forward to a, a very fun future with this company. If you want to see more, there's there's plenty of visual information on the site, www.plexdevelopments.ca. Now, just so we're clear, for, for people who might want to contact uh, you or anyone that uh, that can help them out, should they go directly or only to Plex Developments, or can they also call you at your... I would go to plexdevelopments.ca. Our office number is there. Our uh, general manager, Kyle Rossiter, uh, will certainly uh, get back to them right away. Um, or they can visit the website, as you said, www.plexdevelopments.ca, or call 780-637-4760. Well, if you're looking for something different, this just might be the way to go. Residential infill housing, the revitalization of older neighborhoods and some beautiful deals to be had. Well, I'd like to thank you once again, Terry. Thank you, Mike. Terry Peranich, our real estate expert. You've been watching Inside Real Estate with Terry Peranich. I'm your host, Michael Crichton.